there's some really good reasons why some of this stuff was sealed. Uh, and we just, I just talked about this on the Clear Hot podcast with, uh, with Kara Smith. The, the reason, one of, one of the victims is a very, very well-known Hollywood actress. Very well-known. I mean, if we were to say her name, um, Kara knows who she is. If we were to say her name or if she was to have to show her face, everybody would know who she is. Why can't you say her name? Um, because right now she is no one. It's not my place. It's none of my business. Mm-hmm. Two, she is a victim of a crime. Sure. But and, why, but, and she hold on. Okay. She was she was she was raped as a child. Jesus. Right. And, yeah. and one of the most prolific cases in, in, in history, definitely one that was covered by the media the most. So right now she is known as a hardworking um, uh, master of her craft, right? If her name gets released publicly, she's now that girl who was raped by Epstein. Mm-hmm. Wh- which label do you want to wear for the rest of your life? Is she a big, big name today? Big name. So she's still active working right now? Yes. Okay. And, that, and I respect you for not saying her and name. Who and knows who, who knows who she is? A, n- a number of people. Okay. A number of people who, who work in this space. And, and this, is, this is what's really important for us to keep in mind. We all want justice, right? Yeah. I mean... God built me for justice and to go after bad people. Uh, that, that, is, that is why he made me and put me on this earth. And so um, nobody, nobody wants his justice more than I do. But it's not my justice to have. Hmm. It's the victim's justice. And so every sing- if any of those folks on that flight log committed a crime, it requires a victim per the Constitution because that person has a right to face their accuser, uh-huh. which is super important. If that victim chooses not to have justice because they've moved on, right, maybe years and years of counseling, it might have taken them 20 years to get over that. And then we're, we're asking them to go into court and rip that open f- for us so we can have justice? It's, yeah. not, it's not ours to have. And, and there's precedent that even though they're victims, it still has an adverse effect on their career. You look at the actresses that were involved in the NX IVM thing. and, and Oh, uh, yeah, the Nexium. You know, the, uh, yeah. you know, they were branded, and, and then, you know, that, that none of them ever worked again. Some of them became culpable mm. in the, the, yeah. the cult-like you know, atmosphere of it by recruiting after a while. But they were... Yeah, you know, I, listen, man. I mean, one of the things, you know, being in entertainment, that it, it's one of the scarier things about it. But this is like, I've met very, very few executive producers, anybody that was ever willing to like do a project, especially an independent project, mm-hmm. that didn't have, that didn't get their money from like some sort of nefarious means, you know? And I got to be honest, I'm going to be 100%. I'm going to be the only human being in America honest. If I was asked 10 years ago by Jeffrey Epstein to come down to his, his island in the Bahamas and hang out with a bunch of supermodels and we'll talk about financing your movie, I'd have been on that flight log. 100% chance I'd have been on that flight log. Mm -hmm. Now, I'd like to think that when I saw what was going on there, I wouldn't go back a second or a third or a fourth time. But when you're in that industry... There are so few people willing to green light your projects. Mm -hmm. And there, you know, you talk you talk to people that you don't know how they came about their money. Sure. Right. And then you have some guy who's willing to and and listen, there's there's gonna be people in the comments right now talking about I'm a pedo or I'm whatever, and I'm not. But I'm telling you right now, anybody that's ever been to a bachelor party, Mm -hmm. you'd have I believe you'd have gone to Epstein Island if you were if you were invited. Anybody that's ever been to a strip club would have gone to Epstein Island if they were invited. If somebody's gonna fly you down in their private jet to an island to hang out with women, it's pretty tempting, right? So, I mean, this idea, you know, one of the things I don't like about the way that this is covered is, is how everybody's holier than now in the moment, but it's also like, dude, have you ever gone to a strip club and asked the CID when you were there? There's I've never big, seen there, anybody. There, there's a big difference, though. There's a big difference between uh, uh, going to that island and intentionally having an interest of wanting to be with minors that he has on the island. One those thousand are, those percent. Are two different, it's very mm-hmm. important for you to differentiate. One thousand yeah. percent. So those are two different things. So if you're going with intent, yeah, you have issues. But if you're going saying, dude, I'm putting the sickest party together, come on by. We're exactly. Gonna have the, yeah, that's a different conversation yeah. that, that you're right. talking about. But again, there, there, we got there's but a big I think distinction that was between like, the two. Just kind of like his thing. Like, I, I don't, like Trump went with them, Clinton went with them. Were those guys banging chicks on his island? I'm willing to bet yes. Do I think they were women, though? Yes. 
Like, I don't, yeah. I, I, I don't, I'm not saying just because you want to go party and have a good time. We could bring the strip club example. Doesn't mean you like 14 year old girl. I think that was just his weird it's thing. It's very, very important to, to yeah. like differentiate that, especially because it, and I'm only taking this from the, the Netflix documentary that I saw, which which seemed very biased to begin with. Anyway, they talked about Trump 90 times and Clinton once. Right. So, <laughs> you know, the you know, but but the women were like. They were 17, and we were told to tell people that we were 22, and it's horrible what happened to these women. I don't want to try to make it out like it's not. Mm -hmm. But then I'm also, you know, I, I, I look at what's happening, and, and, you know, Bad Baby turns 18 and makes mm -hmm. a trillion dollars off of her OnlyFans right. the day she turns 18. And, and everybody in the world, you know, we have some sort of weird kind of like fetishization with young women with when i was growing up britney spears was 16 oops right. i did it again i mean like there's a weird fetishization with that almost jail bait kid right and you don't we're not conditioned to like ask them you go to this island Ooh, yeah. wouldn't it be like i'd almost feel like seriously i, I would almost feel like it was <laughs> disrespecting my friend jeffrey to ask yeah. the girls like are you, you're you're 21 so right? i joined like, the army yeah. i joined the army let me tell you what happened when i joined the army uh, 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 joined the army, drill Sergeant Green, our unit brings it brings us in and says, you go party in this town, here's what's going to happen. You're going to meet a lot of girls. Girls are going to like guys in uniform. Just know this. But you're also a target. And you have to know that girls lie when it comes down to their age. You have to ID them. I'm like, what are you talking about you have to ID them? He says, you have to ID them Mm -hmm. before they come in sure. to your place. And by the way, how old are you at this I'm point? I'm 18. He's 18. I'm 18 years it's old. It's perfect so, track. It's so a it's senior hooking up with a sophomore. Trap. So we're sitting there. One of our guys who had a house off uh, 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 off base, we all lived on base. So on base, you can't even do it because they can't even make it through the gate because they ID everybody when they come through the gate. But this Unless guy, you're Antonio Brown. This That's guy had sick. a place off, the, off, uh, off base. So we go to the place, to his house. There's a bunch of people there. Next thing you know, in the middle of it, one of the guys starts IDing everybody. And one by one by one says, you got to leave, you got to leave, you got to leave if you can't show your ID. This guy was like the responsible guy. Everybody's got to get sure. out of here. So I, I think, again, there's a big difference with some people have the, uh, uh, the angle you took when you said, you know, oops, I did it again, 16 years old. You know, we put it out there. Who's that on? Is that on the media? Is that on you? No, I'm not is saying, that on marketing? Uh, all, is that on? All I'm saying that's is. That's on the record company all selling First it. of all, I want to be really clear. What happened there is a travesty. What happened on that island is, is is a nightmare. I'm just saying that when, to his point, Cindy Lauper gets on this list and everybody's like, well, Cindy Lauper is a pedo or Cindy Lauper is this or Cindy Lauper is that. Cindy Lauper might have been down there to talk about a project and now she's lumped in with all this stuff. It, it's very, very important. Like, I, you know, <laughs> basically what you're saying, G, just because I'm with you, 99% yeah. of the people on these flights were up to. Well, not we not the, bad. The point things. That's that's but it's why the one percent. That's why we need the forensic uh, accounting. That's right. Investigation because we don't know that. We. Well, that, that's I mean, the thing are, is, do you think my numbers are? No, I think no, you're off. No, I think you're what I numbers think, do you think it is? I think ninety nine percent. No, I'm thinking most people aren't molesting children. That's what I'm guessing. I think no. if you. What's the number then? I think if you hang out with skunks, you start to stink. Um, and I think that there's a certain amount of, of, of personal responsibility. Like you, you have people in your life, right? Business partners that you know mm -hmm. are doing shady things. And so you distance yourself from them, right? You just, uh, Hey, sorry, I'm too busy. Can't answer the phone. Right. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you may not necessarily be turning them into mm -hmm. the freaking IRS, but, but you're distancing yourself. But from you're them. assuming they knew that's what he was doing. I, I, th I think that. I think that y over over decades and decades, you you start to you start to be able to see what's going on with people. Listen, here's quickly. what it comes down to. It's very simple. I mean, let's. Uh, why don't you go investigate exactly where the money came from? That's what you got to do. Yeah, the guy's, not, the guy's, needs to go the to guy's not around anymore. Go follow the money. So yeah. the qu the question then becomes the hesitancy of not wanting to follow the money. That's yeah. deeply concerning. That's the the guy. Who's is, hesitant though? Who's doing it though? Well, but no, here's, no, she's, gotta, she's the first trial in history. It, she's the first human trafficker that was convicted of trafficking to nobody. There was nobody else that was no, convicted. No, she she, tra she she was the trafficker to uh, to Epstein. So she. So that, that's how they're saying it—that it, yeah. he was the end game. So, that, I mean, yeah. So so uh, uh, eighteen USC fifteen ninety five says that if you are uh, essentially getting any type of economic value um, through uh, defrauding, forcing, or coercing somebody else to do something, right? Where you're the recipient of the economic value. Mm -hmm. I mean, when we talked about human trafficking, you know, pe it, it, people don't know what that means. And let me give you a really easy way to think about Please. what human trafficking is. Uh, you, you perform labor, 
you then get to keep the the proceeds of your labor, right? You you get remuneration for the services and labor that you provide. That you chose to do freely. Right. Well, yes, and, and the whole philosophical conversation around that, but but whether you're choosing to or not to, you are you are keeping the fruits of your labor. Mm-hmm. Um, human trafficking is when you provide some tor- some type of labor or service and somebody else is getting to keep the economic value, right? Now, the economic value does not have to necessarily mean cash, right? We all know there's a whole lot of economic value to influence, um, right? Uh, Pelosi. Um, <laughs> there's, a, uh, there's a lot of... of uh, economic value to uh, narcotics, as an example, is part of the way that, that uh, human trafficking work in this country. So if somebody's being um, forced, defrauded, or coerced mm-hmm. into doing something for somebody else's economic benefit, you have human trafficking. And it doesn't matter what that thing is, what the service is, what the labor is. Uh, and that's, that's really the, por- the point that we focus on here. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.